Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Planet Coaster and welcome to Let's Build Pirate Valley Part 2. Today, we're building what's effectively a big dock area. Of course, it's not really a dock or a harbor or anything like that. It's on dry land and it's in a valley, but it's sort of there to represent a dock that would be there if we had water down below rather than just land. Again, if you're not aware, if you haven't seen the first part of this, which would be very silly if you were paying attention to this series and hadn't seen the first part, if you haven't seen the first part or you missed it, basically, Pirate Valley is going to be a pirate-themed theme park in this valley that doesn't actually contain any water whatsoever. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this turns out. But what we're building today is... As I said, sort of a harbor, sort of a dock, sort of an industrial space, which is uh, which just looks absolutely wonderful. I love how this ended up looking. It is basically a big wall. There, there's a big vertical wall to hide a lot of the the face of the uh, the cliff. There, I do a lot of different levels with it. I have some doors. I have some uh, some platforms. I do on the very top have some shops and some toilets. There is a new ride that we add today as well. But a lot of this, other than the ride, the shops, and the toilets, is just for aesthetics. It's really there just to look good and to hide the cliff. I really, from the outset, didn't want the cliff to be used at all. I didn't want it to be visible. There's parts of it still visible, and I'm going to cover even more of it at some point. But uh, this space in particular, I really wanted to cover up because I just I looked at it and immediately saw this 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 building out the wall building out the the harbor the the key whatever you want to call it the the face of our imaginary port is what i saw here and that's what i end up doing with this and i i love how it turned out i really do i love the level of detail we get in there i love using uh the plants the way i end up using them the the seaweed which you may have seen me use i think i have i haven't used seaweed no, sorry, I have used seaweed in this build. I used it on the side of the colonial building up at the top of uh, the harbor here on the side to make it look sort of like ivy or like it was slightly uh, overgrown or slightly uh, older than it was. I do the same thing with this. I uh, do use a bit more seaweed than I used on that building because this is, again, sort of representing a harbor, so it would have... Uh, sort of moss and stuff like that growing. I don't know what you call it. Is it moss that would grow on it? On the side of a harbor? Whatever. Whatever plant. See, there would be seaweed as well. So, again, we're just sort of sticking with the sort of ocean theme, the piratey theme. And I, again, I don't want to just repeat myself and say, I love this, the build! But I really do enjoy it. I spent about, I think, two... Two hours and... 30 minutes building this one, not quite as long as it took to do the roller coaster in Colonial House, but uh, I have learned a few new tricks since I did that. I discovered, I didn't discover, people told me in the comments that you can press and hold F to uh, center an object on a wall, so that's what I did with a lot of the lights. And uh, that same thing applies when you're pl placing a light on the top of a pillar as well. So that came in really handy when it came to uh, placing all of those windows. That's why it was a bit of a slower process to make the colonial building up top because I had to manually try and line up all the windows and make that work. This time around, so, so much easier to get a bunch of windows in here and uh, make it look good. And there we go, finding a nice space for this ride. It is pretty much a kid's ride, but uh, I did want to get this in here because it is themed with the, the whole pirate thing in the sea. Some of the, the little carts on it are octopus, oct octopi. Uh, and the other ones I think are like diving cages. I don't know what they are, but it fit the theme. It's it's ocean themed So it worked perfectly with what I wanted to do here and uh, it actually ends up fitting into the the pier the boardwalk Whatever you want to call it really really well The uh, the queue for this ride obviously is raised up and ob is obviously there You know, you can very very clearly see it, but I do end up uh surrounding it with miscellaneous things just to make it uh, blend in a little bit better. And I did at first have this idea to try and do a diagonal section around this that would uh, come down the same way the previous bit of wall did and just be on a diagonal for the sake of it. Sort of a an aesthetic thing to make this look a little bit different, a little bit interesting. 
But, uh, I did end up scrapping that idea and just decided to build out normally from the, uh, the already existing, uh, section of boardwalk because really that just made so much more sense and in the end does look a lot better because it's, you know, on the same grid as everything else. There are some tricks to do some sort of angled grid work. I don't really know them all that well, but I don't really feel like I need them anyway because I, I was okay with this whole thing sort of being on a grid. It's meant to be very, very kind of industrial. I like the rounded corners, but this is still very much a kind of square structure. You know, everything is, it's rounded squares. Think of it that way. Everything sort of has a rounded corner to it rather than just being you know, a square. That's that's how you know it's fancy. It has rounded corners. That's the sign of a fancy building in my book anyway. It's, I don't know. I feel like rounded wall, not rounded walls, but the like curved walls are becoming more of a thing, I think. I, I, rec I reckon that's, that's a thing, right? I mean, I, again, as I'm sure everyone's, no, actually, no, everyone's not aware because everyone keeps asking where I'm from. Uh, here in Northern Ireland, it's not actually that common now that I think about it. Most places here still look like they're from 1980. Mostly because they are. Uh, most places around here were built in uh, 1980. And only recently we're seeing some property development going on. So there you go. There's your update on the Northern Ireland property market. I'm sure you were dying for that information. But, uh, yeah, there's not actually all that many curved walls around here. Not even, I mean, there's, there's a park in my town that has one. That's four of them, technically. They kind of make a circle. You can actually stand in the middle of that circle and you'll hear echo. But interestingly, you're the only person that hears it. And that, I, I swear that's a thing. You stand in the middle of it and you'll hear your voice echo back at you. But anyone standing next to you doesn't hear it. You have to be right in the middle. It's really strange. And no one, very few people believe me. I say to someone, go stand in the middle of that circle and say something. You'll hear yourself echo. And they're like, no, no, you're trying to make me look like an idiot. And you do look like an idiot. You stood there in a circle going, echo! And you hear it and you grin like an idiot because you've heard yourself echo in this really weird way. And yeah, you you look like an idiot because you're standing in a very public space going echo. But it does echo. So, you know, just thought I'd let you know that too. You're welcome. Just updating you on some uh some 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 local uh tricks and uh hot spots and the property market. And uh what's better is that you people don't know the time I live in. And I'm going to keep it that way. So, uh, you're welcome, internet. What are we doing at the minute? We're adding a bunch of, uh, scaffolding to the sides of the, the harbor wall there. I do like the idea that this is something that's completely in, in disrepair. So there's a bunch of scaffolding up to, uh, you know, make some repairs to it and make it, uh, make it look a little bit better and just make sure it doesn't fall over. Like I said, that this isn't the pirate area. The title's a little bit misleading at the moment because we haven't actually done any work on uh, the pirate section of Pirate Valley. But I am basically going to basically going to build this from the entrance in. I'm not going to bother going down into the valley and kind of building from there towards the entrance. I want to sort of do the whole colonial coastal thing, uh, and then we'll start getting to work on the, uh, the pirate stuff, but it is coming eventually. I do have ideas for it. I'm sort of toying around with ideas for it. And, uh, I, I think the whole, this whole project pirate Valley will absolutely benefit from doing it this way because we get so much detail into the, the colonial space. You know, we make this look like somewhere that people live, people work here. Uh, there's obviously the rides as well. Like everything has to sort of work with the theme in this space that it's it's a functional port basically with fairground rides it, it's a bit silly but that, that's kind of the way this needs to look uh what the pirate area is going to be is completely different like this is really nice and neat and uh looks lived in the pirate area is going to be destroyed ships it's going to be loads more cannons and cannonballs and barrels and it's going to be just messy and broken and that's the point it's it's a pirate space. There's broken pirate ships. There's not broken pirate ships. There's all sorts of things that I, I want to do and that I think will look absolutely great. Uh, what we're building just here is actually where the two food shops go. We have uh, Chief Beef and Cosmic Cow down here. Cow Cow. I hate the Northern Irish accent so much. It's, it's really unpleasant with certain words. Like the word brown is brown. 
we, we have this thing where we pronounce W as though it were actually two U's to get brown. It's really unpleasant. We don't really pronounce W all that much. So when I, when I say brown in my accent, it's just weird. But I still think sounds better than brown. It's, it's just a, it's a really just, it's, it's kind of up there in, in unpleasantness with words like moist and damp. Like they're just, they're just not pleasant words. So I, I, I'm going to file like the Northern Irish way of saying brown, uh, under that category as well. That's, that's, that's an, that, that is a thing. No, you're welcome internet. Uh, what we're building here is the toilet block. This is something that's, uh, I realized we didn't actually have in the park yet. Yeah, you might remember I mentioned previously that I was thinking of adding some toilets to the colonial building. I may still do that, but uh, I thought a uh, somewhat dedicated toilet block would also be quite useful. And I do actually add a sign to the outside of this. This is something that people have been telling me to do in the Let's Play, is uh, add signs to the outside of my toilet buildings. I haven't actually done that yet. I haven't got around to it, but I do it in the let's build so there you go you're welcome uh, i i did listen to that feedback from a different video for this video but there you go there's the sign and then i add in these signs as well the wooden ones i decided to take out the uh what do you call it the awning things from the shops and uh went ahead and added in those sort of stone things that look way too elegant and then added the wooden signs up above because it sort of matched with the uh the almost piratey theme and the, the sort of old port kind of coastal thing that's going on here. I just really enjoy how this whole thing came together. We're about to get into the majority of the detailing now, putting loads of cannons about, putting loads of boxes and barrels and barrel runs and just loads of just interesting stuff that I didn't know was in the game. Lots of netting and sort of wooden uh, scaffolding and towers and all that weird stuff. It really looks just great. It kind of comes back to what I've always said with uh, building in The Sims, which is that the best way to make something look lived in and like it's used and a bit old and it's not just like a show house in the case of The Sims, is to make a bit of a mess, basically. Make stuff a little bit, you know, off center, give it a little bit more of a tilt than you necessarily think it needs. Put some, some dirt in there, put some boxes, some barrels, whatever kind of mess you can make and just, make stuff look a little bit busy. Not overly busy, because then you get something that just looks like a mess. The thing is, <laughs> this is gonna sound so pretentious and like I'm such, such a tool. You need to make a mess without making it look like a mess, basically. And that is, that is my dickhead sentence for the week. Uh, but when it comes to building in Planet Coaster this with this kind of thing, or The Sims, I guess, if you wanted to build something that looks like a lived-in house, make a mess without making a mess, making it look like a mess. I, I'm not, I'm not entirely happy that that's a thing I've said, but I'm going to stand by it because it is somewhat true for stuff that I build in, in those games. So it's fine. Anyway, we're nearing the end of this build, which is probably for the best because I haven't slept in about 24 hours, which is why I'm rambling. Uh, we're just adding in some boats because again, we're going with the nautical uh, ocean piratey theme, so we did need those. Lots of fruit around here too, which is important. In case you were ever wondering why pirates are often uh, portrayed with fruit, it's usually, well, not necessarily pirates. Pirates don't have fruit. Pirates have bad teeth and scurvy. Uh, the reason there's fruit is so heavily associated with the sea though is scurvy, basically. Uh, cit lots of citrus, I think. It's something like that. Fruit's good. You want fruit when you're on the sea, pillaging or working for Her Majesty's Navy, whatever. Fruit's a good thing, and that's why it's associated with uh, pirate films, because you need fruit in the high seas. Anyway, like I said, we're getting to the end of this, and any moment now, we're gonna be going into some cinematic shots. There's only three of them. There isn't really much to show off with this one. There's not a roller coaster to ride, and there's not really all that much to show. You've sort of seen it all, so we'll just have a cut here, and there you go. There's a shot of the entire place from, uh, just behind the food stalls, you'll get the rest of them. But uh, with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you liked the video, like the video. If you have any suggestions 
for this build, do feel free to let me know. But that is going to be it. So thank you kind of for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.